you're gonna dig this. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome back to Dre Racing. And today we're, or you know, not just today, but next few days, uh, prepping the car for a test tune on Sunday the 6th, maybe. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, do some exhaust work. Uh, some temporary, but just to check, we're gonna pull the exhaust off and we're gonna do some carburetor work. We're gonna show you that. Yeah, we're uh, adding jet extensions and uh, we think we're just miss or the uh, gas on the launch is uh, starving the jets just a little bit. We're getting better with the uh, accelerator pumps and uh, I like we just, float adjustment. Float yep. adjustment. We got closer. And we're just about there, but this might take us over the edge of being ahead of what we were. So yeah, I don't think it'll hurt. No. So let's. We've taken the carburetor off. We're not going to show you that. We'll um, once we get the carburetor off, we'll we'll show you what we're doing. Oh, you think it's time to re replace the spark plugs too while we're at? Oh yeah, we haven't done that this year. Let's let's do that and see if that was <laughs> those were letting us down. Right. Okay. All right, Ricky. What plug are we running? The auto lights. All right. This is what number is it? Oh. 3924 and we're using it's a factory plug for like a 96 Dodge Ram pickup truck it's exact pickup or exact plug because yeah. that's what fits the head and that actually uh, Edelbrock recommends that plug so yeah they know what's down yep so you got uh, halfway apart yeah so you're taking out the jets now take out the jets and then We'll have to change the float out as well. You have to change out the float because of the extensions. We'll be hitting the other one. I, I believe that's why they do that. Yeah, looks looks that way. So that's a that's a big jet. <laughs> have to get a little wrench, maybe make sure that seat's tight. But you can see that brings it back, and then with the jet in there. That, that easy. should keep it that easy. That should keep it covered in fuel. Um, again, I've got to change this uh, float out. I'm going to need your hands to to help because I don't want to take the fittings apart. Right. That's the last thing we use a gas leak because we touched something. Yeah. So let's talk about these plugs for a second. Two different boxes. Factory gap on one was set at 35 where we run them, and the other was set at 40. So we had to adjust four of them. So you always got to check. But that's not the first time we saw them showing up different. And these plugs, after how many passes would we say we've uh, been on? the whole season, and they look really good. We're not following. I'll look at them more closer. Number one looks about the worst. Yeah, and it's not, it's, even at that, it's not bad. So, probably a good idea to change them, but. Probably didn't need it, but it doesn't hurt. Yeah. So you're going to keep going that and uh, change the yeah, float I'm gonna, itself? I'm going to go ahead and get something to tighten these down. All right, I'm going to keep going and uh, put the new plugs in. So real quick, you just, uh, it's two screws holding the float in, back the adjustment off, the whole thing comes out. I, that spring, this little uh, bracket, and uh, the rod, swap it over. The new ones have the clearance for the extensions. And uh, put her back in. So far, so good, huh? Yeah. All right. Pretty easy. So we're getting uh, pretty close now. We got all the plugs back in, plug wires, carburetor on. Uh, we just did adjust the float because uh, you had to mess with that to take everything apart, put it back together. Pretty good. We just need to adjust it a little bit later. Yeah, after we're running the car. So that was just an initial. We just ran the pump and, and adjusted. Yeah, so... Uh, and we also wanted to do that uh, before the car got loud so we could, you know. Hear ourselves think. But uh, let's get this thing on the lift and get it up in the air and see if we can get this exhaust off. Yeah. You're going to call this, what are you going to call this, Project Make It Loud? <laughs> make it uh, more noticeable. Yeah, well, we're going to, we've been told our exhaust, uh, these ancient mufflers may be holding us back. <laughs> Yeah, I think you would say that. All right, 
see if we can get this down. Yeah, the hard part, you know, we can just bolt things onto the headers or, you know, open header, you know. But to actually getting these off in one piece, because kind of... I'm not throwing them away, yeah. Right. And we do have some, some tubes over there. We're going to make uh, some down tubes out of. Put some turn downs after that. And, uh, well, let's get this thing apart. Well, I don't know why we didn't do this sooner. That was super easy to come off. And it's a minimum 25 pounds, but I think probably 35. So real quick, because it's what we do, we're going to throw it on the scales and uh, see what it actually weighs and essentially double, double it for the other side because it's not much different. All right, before I put it on there, leave a comment of your guesses. My guess, 35 pounds on the heavy side. Well, let's see. Twenty-nine pounds. Yeah, this is twenty-seven. Twenty. Oh, that's moving. I go twenty-nine pounds. So around sixty pounds taken off the car. Well, we're going to be putting some weight back on because we got those extensions. We got to yeah, run a header. Just a little bit, but yep. So we'll we... be right back around uh, twenty-nine hundred even. Not quite. About we're twenty-nine twenty when we're done. Yeah, something like that. But a lot lower than what we were. We should have done this before no name last year. Well, that's what this when is for. We're, when we were running our fastest. <laughs> so ultimately, we're going to have a full exhaust on the car, or at least mufflers. But right now, we're just uh, doing a little experiment, see how much this is really holding us back. Yeah, so uh, let's see what we got to do to fab up. Uh, or take off the other side and then probably see about fabbing up something. Yep. And then get a sound clip. We're back. Another day of uh, prepping for a test and tune. And... Uh, being the next day and the updated plans looks like Sunday's gonna be pretty uh rainy at least in the meat of the time of the test tune so Saturday there's a Mustang event at Tri-State but it says all makes and models welcome so pretty much test tune so hopefully we'll be able to get you know three four five passes in to see if our uh, adjustments work um, but also, what I don't think we discussed yet is we're changing the transmission fluid. Uh, you know, more than half the season on it. Just wanted to take a look at it. Um, and now we're about to, after we get it filled up, uh, bolt on the exhaust. And uh, that's really what we're hoping to see a huge improvement with. So, or actually, probably bolt it on before we lower the car and put fluid in it. But let's do that. Guys, would you look at this? That is awesome. And this is a free mod too, because uh, we already had this stuff <laughs> laying down in the garage. So, after we get the transmission fluid in, we gotta hear this. Yeah, let's uh, get this thing down, put the fluid in it and fire it up. Oh man. So because we cut off all the weight, and as we do, we got to scale the car. <laughs> I'm sure we didn't hurt anything. Yeah, it zeroed out and uh, let's get it rolled back, weigh it, and then I'll hop in and we'll get our actual bias. Said we took off that much weight and a lot of it is kind of towards the rear, but a certain amount of weight taken off, it's worth losing probably a little bit of bias. So let's get it rolled back. All right, guys. So once again, in the comments, what do you think the car weighs without the exhaust? And it weighs... This is a full tank of gas, too. Yeah. So it's ready to go. Full oil, gas. 29.19. So, at, before going to No Name last year, when I believe the car was at its lightest... We were 29.06. Yep. So not even... Adding... Taking off the exhaust and adding the roll bar, not even 20 pounds heavier. So, you know, we might be louder from now on. All right, get in there and let's see what it weighs with you in it. Might have to put you on a diet. <laughs> Okay, 46.8% rear bias. So we did lose a lot of rear bias. All right, Ricky, we improved the cross weight though. So that, that's good. Um, 
We lost a little rear weight bias with uh, taking the exhaust off, but we'll see how it how she do. And uh, yeah, I, I don't think we'll have a problem with traction, even though we lost a little bit there. But we'll get some. Uh, I, th I think the weight loss is worth the tiny bit of percent there. Yeah, we got good weight transfer. So what's next? Time to fire this up, isn't it? Oh yeah. All right. You got to hear it. Yeah. Let me open the door. <laughs> All right, sir. Now nah, let her rip. See if she starts. That's awesome. All right, so that's a wrap on everything. I think the car is ready to go. I think we're gonna be real fast tomorrow. Uh, hopefully the track prep is good so we can really see the gains uh, made, but we're really looking uh, for mile an hour. Uh, so eighth mile and quarter eight, mile. Eighth mile and quarter mile. See if mile. we made any gains, yeah. So that's really the biggest key to all this. We're doing it. So if you guys enjoyed the video, like, subscribe. See you in the next one.